welcome to M Squared TechCast, a love show offering the latest news and interviews with the people driving business, technology, and politics in Michigan. Now, your hosts, Matt Rausch and Mike Brennan. Well, Mike Brennan, anyway, and Matt is on vacation, but we have some exciting news. We're now a video show, and so you can see us for whatever that's worth, right? And we have as our first guest for our first video show, John McLaughlin, who is with KLA in Ann Arbor. He's uh, the lead there, I guess is your title, right, John? That's right, site leader. Site leader, okay. So probably a lot of you out there are going, what is KLA Ann Arbor? John, explain. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Mike. Appreciate it. KLA is a tech company based in California. We make semiconductor equipment, so we do inspection and measurement of semiconductor chips. And the Ann Arbor part is really exciting for us. We're starting a new R&D center in Ann Arbor, and we're creating 600 jobs right here in southeast Michigan. And we were talking just before the show started. Actually, I was at your grand opening in May, I believe it was, wasn't it? Early June. It was early June? Okay. Yeah. And so I've been with John a couple of times, t- took a look at the facilities right there in, in North Ann Arbor, uh, which is a, just a temporary facility because you're going to be building a huge kind of facility uh, in the same general area over the next couple of years, right? That's right. We're building a campus of our own just east of Ann Arbor in the Ann Arbor Technology Park, mm-hmm. so just over US 23 near Domino's Farms. Right, yeah, good good spot. Lots of uh, stuff going on there. Yep. Uh, and so you came out, I know you're an Ann Arbor person, uh, you came out of the U of M. Uh, you had already dealt with KLA previous to that, and it turns out that the CEO is a U of M grad, so it all came together, right? Well, it just so happens the CEO is a Michigan alum. Yeah, absolutely. I worked with KLA when I was at U of M. Um, the company did a very careful, deliberative search of all different locations across the country looking for a second site. Ann Arbor was in the mix, and the consulting team ended up picking Ann Arbor because it just fit a lot of the criteria the company was looking for. So, let's, really exciting. Let's talk about that. What was some of that criteria? How did Ann Arbor win over, you were looking at four or five other sites, weren't you? Yeah, we started with a list of 350 sites. Wow. Then we narrowed to 12, and then three finalists. So, okay. Ann Arbor won because we wanted a pipeline of engineering talent, and we thought that Southeast Michigan can go up against anybody. We wanted proximity to an international airport. We wanted a high Check. quality of life, lower Check. lower cost of living compared to the Bay Area. Oh yeah, and all the culture and attractions of a college town. So when you think about that, Ann Arbor really fits the bill on all dimensions. And if you like the Four Seasons, you got that covered too, all right? You do, absolutely. I think I saw a video of you cross-country skiing. Wasn't that you in that video, cross-country skiing? I don't know if it was me, but I love cross-country skiing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about these jobs. You, uh, Before we started, uh, you mentioned 39 folks have been hired already. Is that right? Yep. We're in the high 30s right now. Okay. So ramping up our office, trying to fill it as much as we can. And so what types of folks are you looking for? So predominantly, we're hiring electrical engineers and computer scientists, mm-hmm. but we have a range of jobs open. We're, we're hoping this is going to be a, a second headquarters for the company. That's how we're positioning it. Sure. Um, we want it to be a cross-cutting center of excellence, so artificial intelligence, um, computer science, hardware engineering, and then we're bringing in other corporate functions as well. So finance, IT, the whole nine yards. Wow. And, and now these initial 39 hires, those are more uh, heavily oriented towards what STEM-type jobs, uh, engineering, whatnot, software? Yeah, they're overwhelmingly engineering with, with other corporate functions mixed in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, let's talk a little bit more about what you do. Uh, I, I, when I first read about the company, I was a little confused. I actually thought you were a chip maker, but you don't make chips. But you make the equipment that d- deals with the chips or certifies the chips, right? That's right. Yep. You probably haven't heard of KLA, but you probably are very, very familiar with our customers, right? So our customers are companies like Intel and Samsung. Mm-hmm. Um, if you walked into a f- wafer fab anywhere in the world, a place where chips are manufactured, then you will find our equipment. So our equipment measures the chips, does inspection to find defects in the chips so that when they come out of the production process, they're perfect and they function. 
when they go into your devices. Wow, that's amazing. And so uh, what are you developing in, 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 as we go forward? What are you seeing in the chip arena? Uh, I know you don't actually develop the chips, but you develop the equipment, so you've got to work hand in glove with Intel's of the world and whatnot, AMD's. So what, where are we going with chip technology? Yeah, so chip technology is getting more and more complex. Um, as we move into autonomous cars, technology becomes smaller. And Internet of Things means that your chips are going everywhere, right? So you're looking at ubiquitous installation of chips and devices, and then you're also trying to increase capabilities so you can meet the needs of the automotive industry and other, other advanced technologies. Was that also a big factor that you were so near the automotive, I don't know if we call them the big three anymore, but uh, uh, FCA, GM, Ford, was that, and of course Toyota has a big development center right outside of Ann Arbor. Was that, was that a played into this? I'd say that's a big benefit of choosing Ann Arbor. Automotive makes up a pretty healthy portion of our revenue, mm-hmm. um, and we'd like to increase that going forward. So we are thinking strategically about how we engage with the automotive industry and very excited to be right next door. Okay. And then, uh, so let's talk a little bit more about what you're going to be doing in the future. Over the next five years, you want to hire up to or more than 500 people, right? That's right. Yep. Shooting for 500 to 600 people over that time frame. Okay. And then the the campus, I, I've seen the sketches of it, schematics of it. So when do you actually break ground on all that? Yeah, we're shooting to break ground this fall, and we're going to be open in the summer of 2021. All That's right. our time frame. That's pretty fast, actually. So It is pretty fast. Yeah, we're moving as quickly as we can. And then uh, you were saying the benefits of Ann Arbor, of course, the U of M, uh, you, and you came out of the engineering college, so you're, you're very familiar with the talent that that college produces, right? Yeah, it's talent that can go up against anybody, and that's really important to us. We have a lot of people to hire, a lot of roles to fill, so we wanted to be right next door to a big university that has excellent talent. And then um, down the road from a lot of other talent, right? So we wanted to be near other schools, Lawrence Tech, Michigan State, Michigan Tech, you know, you name it. We're going to be recruiting all across the Midwest this fall. Yeah, great. And now these jobs, uh, are you looking for, uh, how much of an experience level are you looking for? You're not looking for entry level necessarily. You're looking for very experienced people? So it varies. Um, We hire at the graduate and undergraduate level. Mm -hmm. And then we're also looking for people who are already out in the labor force. So we've got mid-career positions. We've got junior level positions for undergraduates. And then we have graduate level positions for people with a master's or a Ph.D. And perhaps even recruiting from some of the local companies, you know, offering, you know, a better deal than what they're getting wherever they're at. I'm assuming that uh, you wouldn't look askance at that, right? Our philosophy is we want excellent talent. So we're looking at a bunch of different angles to get that talent. Um, We really need it, though. Yeah, this is an R and D site, and we're going to be building the next generation of our products from Ann Arbor. Sure. And then, what sort of benefit package? You don't have to give me specifics, like uh, you know, maybe ranges or something. But what do you typically offer these folks to uh, come work for you at KLA? Yeah, I'd say we offer highly competitive salaries. We also have great benefits at KLA. Um, we're building this campus to be really appealing to the next generation. So we're going to have a fitness center. We will have a beautiful site that opens up to the outdoors, um, connecting into local bike paths. It's going to be really exciting. Daycare, I assume, for uh, the, you know, the, the, the women or men that work there that need to have daycare, are you going to have that? Uh, we won't have on-site daycare, um, but we do have a lot of other amenities. Okay, yeah, great. On-site daycare takes a lot of space, and uh, I don't think we have the square footage for that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so, but, uh, there's been a lot of people saying that, you know, it's hard to keep talent in Southeast Michigan, all this really skilled STEM based talent, but what have you run up against it is, I mean, people are really, are they eager to stay here if, the, if it's the right circumstances? Yeah. I think if it works for them, we, we're, tr- we're targeting people who are from here or have connections to the Midwest because right. we find that's where we can be most successful. That said, you know, we just relocated somebody from California who had no roots here before Mm -hmm. and um, find that people are pretty open to that as well. Yeah, I had a friend of mine uh, that I worked with at the Free Press uh, who took a job out in the Silicon Valley and bought a just a modest three-bedroom house for one point five million dollars. So probably buy the same house here for three or four hundred thousand, right? 
Yeah, it's all relative, right? I mean, if you look out in California, compare that to even the priciest places in Michigan, Ann Arbor looks like a steal. Yeah, absolutely. For a lot of these folks. Yeah, it's good. All right, so uh, let's talk one more time. Let's talk a little bit about KLA. Just uh, we talked about it at the beginning, but uh, you know, people might just be coming in picking this up. So, you guys do what again? Now your semi conductor test equipment, right? Yep. So we do inspection and measurement of semiconductor chips. All right. And so do you need a specialized talent for that? I mean, obviously the STEM sort of skills, but I mean, beyond that, is there a special talent that you're looking for? Uh, We're looking for talented engineers of all stripes. If you look on careers.kla.com, you'll find all our job openings, Um, a lot of electrical engineering positions, Mm -hmm. a lot of computer science, but you'll find a bunch of other flavors. So please check us out. If you're an engineer or you're a professional looking to jumpstart your career or move, take a look. And, of course, then you also need the support people. You need uh, the marketing people. You need uh, office people, HR, whatnot, too, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and those jobs are all listed there those as well. Those jobs are available as well, yep. Okay. And if folks, so one more time, if folks want to get more information about that website, give that address one more time here. Yeah, happy to do it. Careers.kla.com. Please check us out. And if they want to reach out to you, is that possible, since you are the Ann Arbor lead? Yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn. Just uh, ping you and say, hey, I'm interested. So. Absolutely. Please do. How do you feel? I mean, yeah, you're at the U of M. I imagine you're fairly happy there. Moving over to private sector, how, how are things going? Are you really happy with that? I'm thrilled. Yeah, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I loved being at U of M, still work with the university all the time. Um, but it's fantastic to be starting a new industrial research center right in my hometown. It's really, it's awesome. All right. Well, that's John McLaughlin, who is the lead for KLA in Ann Arbor. And if you're looking for a high-tech career, he wants to talk to you, right, John? That's right. Get in touch with us. All right. Well, this is Mike Brennan. Matt's on vacation, but he'll be back next week. And uh, we'll be back shortly with another guest. This is Mike Brennan on M Squared TechCast. Thanks, Mike. Additional four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life. But LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs, too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.